The ketogenic diet is a high-fat, adequate protein, low-carbohydrate diet that in medicine is used primarily to treat difficult-to-control, refractory, epilepsy in children. The diet forces the body to burn fats rather than carbohydrates. Normally, the carbohydrates contained in food are converted into glucose, which is then transported around the body and is particularly important in fueling brain function. However, if there is very little carbohydrate in the diet, the liver converts fat into fatty acids and ketone bodies. The ketone bodies pass into the brain and replace glucose as an energy source. An elevated level of ketone bodies in the blood, a state known as ketosis, leads to a reduction in the frequency of epileptic seizures. Most dietary fat is made of molecules called long-chain triglycerides, LCTs. However, medium-chain triglycerides, MCTs, made from fatty acids with shorter carbon chains than LCTs, are more ketogenic. A variant of the classic diet known as the MCT ketogenic diet uses a form of coconut oil, which is rich in MCTs, to provide around half the calories. As less overall fat is needed in this variant of the diet, a greater proportion of carbohydrate and protein can be consumed, allowing a greater variety of food choices. The classic therapeutic ketogenic diet was developed for treatment of pediatric epilepsy in the 1920s and was widely used into the next decade, but its popularity waned with the introduction of effective anticonvulsant drugs. In the mid-1990s, Hollywood producer Jim Abrahams, whose son's severe epilepsy was effectively controlled by the diet, created the Charlie Foundation to promote it. Publicity included an appearance on NBC's Dateline program and, first to no harm, 1997 a made-for-television film starring Meryl Streep. The foundation sponsored a multicenter research study, the results of which, announced in 1996, marked the beginning of renewed scientific interest in the diet.